Hello there all you beautiful people from the interwebs my name is Bona and welcome to well actually for the first time not a let's play this here is going to be a new kind of idea I'm going to see if you guys like it or not um, what I am going to be showing you is ideas in Minecraft stuff that um, I have either seen other people do or have figured out for myself and um, all I want to do with this video is just simply just show it to you and show how it's done. So, on today's episode, enchantment tables. So as you can see, I've set up, set up this little room in here. Right? And in this room, if we just quickly give ourselves a sword, you can put in your sword and make enchantments. And you can get, you know, up to seven, five, six, you know, eight you're lucky but that's about it because there's no books around it but what I've figured out is a way to hide all these books and then having a pressure plate on this side which also hides it from unsuspecting viewers and if you pr step on this BAM then you have all of this uh, look at how cool that is and now we can put in our diamond sword and we can let's see if we can get a good enchantment sharpness 3 that's alright and then we can get that and as soon as you step off it, it goes away again. Uh, the only problem with this one here, is, and the reason that I have built up this massive wall around it, is because there is some redstone, of course, and there is some redstone on top. But, uh, to be honest, I don't really think that is too bad of an issue, because usually, if at least for myself, I usually make enchantment rooms and stuff in um, underground so usually in a basement or something if I'm building a house on top of ground I would usually put this in the basement just to just because I really like the design and really like the layout um, and to be honest I there probably are people who have done this before me I have not seen it yet though um, but I'm not going to try and take credit for it or anything so but let's begin let's see how uh, this is made so to begin with you start off with our enchantment table which is right there so if we just remove that right let's just do it over here first off you gotta you gotta think about where you want your enchantment table I'm just gonna quickly grab some planks with a door uh, so if we say we want our enchantment table there so let's plong that down right, because if we want our enchantment table there we then need this row here all the way around dug up and now I'm doing this in creative but it is possible quite easily if you can get a hold of enough slime balls to make this in survival mode on a server or wherever you would like to make it so and we need to make this too deep so let's just quickly dig out this area here oh uh, actually you know what that isn't really a problem there we go and then we need some sticky pistons and for this project we need let's see five six seven eight ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so we actually need thirty two um thirty two sticky pistons which is quite expensive let's be honest um but i do think i think it is most definitely worth it i'm just going to quickly set time today there we go All right and then you put bookcases on top of that and what I like about bookcases and what I n realized was that bookcases on the top and on the bottom look exactly like normal wood so you see that's a piece of normal wood and that's the bookshelf so therefore you can hide them in the ground without there being any problem with it so we'll just quickly cover that up there we go and then we want to dig out one two one two one two one two one two one two Oh, want to put that back. One, two, and on the outside we want to dig out two and go all the way around like this. So move the two blocks all the way around. Oh, that was one too many. We'll fix that in a little bit. So if we just quickly dig, 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 dig this hole around here, around, keep digging. Dig, 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 d
Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. There we go. Right, so now we need power for all of these. And um, a redstone repeater is quite expensive, so therefore I have made this as um, redstone repeater friendly as possible. So, first off, we're going to put down these three here. Those are going to power these three pistons right here. And then on this side, we then need this one powered. And we need this one powered. Now, the reason that I'm putting down the repeater here is simply because that I need another wire going in there and if I put these in they will then connect to each other and not to the blocks so therefore to go around that problem put in a repeater, once again put in a repeater just cover up, cover up that all there and then one there, so now all these five will be getting power and on this side we do the same as the opposite side so two pieces of redstone and a redstone repeater and here we put in redstone repeater and redstone repeater and one two three right so now every one of these blocks is getting power and then we link them all up on the outside and link that even more up there we go and around here there we go right so now we've got them all linked up and to test this let's put down a torch here and we can see that bam all of these are now have now gone up, so it works. That is actually a very good way of just indicating to see if it works or not. Then we need to put in the pressure plate that is going to be going in here. So now you need to start thinking about where the entrance to this room is. Let's just say that the entrance to the room is over there. So if the entrance is over there, you want to have the pressure plate on the opposite side, so over here. So that means that if we put down a piece of wood, so we want our pressure plate here, we will then put redstone underneath. Because when you step on a pressure plate, it will power the block here, which in turn will power the redstone underneath. And then we'll dig one down there, put in a piece of redstone, dig two, dig two down, redstone, redstone, dig there, and put in a redstone. And then we'll come over to the other side where you can dig out this hole right here to get to the redstone and then one snipe around two there we go, put it back there, that gets it under here and there it is ready for you to move it when you need to so let's just quickly put in a uh, there we go, a wooden pressure plate Let's see is there anything, I don't need that anymore So wooden pressure plate connects actually let's just quickly connect these two up as well so if you dig down t these four blocks here and go like that because then you have there there and there so now these two are connected up so this should then be oh I forgot we need you need one redstone repeater right up there and this should if I remember correctly right nope uh, that's because in this corner right here you need to put one as well so a redstone repeater over here this redstone repeater is simply just to make sure you get the 15 block radius going in and then all the way around here you've got a repeater as well who, which is making sure that the current can go all the way around so now if we step on the thing you see they open all the way around. So that's the bottom part done. Now we need the top part. And for the top part you need to quickly measure out one block, two block, that's the height of the room. So then you want your um, you want your bookcase there and your sticky piston right there. But since we can't put the sticky piston in right now because we need it to be turned around you go five up and place it underneath and now we just walk around I, th I have figured out this at least for myself to be the easiest way to place these down um, but they can be a real pain in the ass to get to, to be placed where you want them to be placed there and one and two right so now we've got them placed we can then place in the 
these bookshelves underneath. Now, um, in theory, I haven't actually uh, haven't actually done that much with it yet, but it should be possible to make a room that is three tall, and simply just have two uh, sticky pistons, one pushing the other down, uh, which would like let uh, would make the room a lot nicer to look at. Uh, if I'm honest, but I'm not completely sure if it's the um, if it's possible, and most importantly, if it's possible on survival and multiplayer. Because the more redstone you use, the more heavy it gets, and the more repeaters you need. And so, like this right here, as it stands with the repeaters set on one, will work. I have it set up on the server myself, and that works every single time. Right, what I'm doing right now is I'm simply just laying down some of the roof. Um, this, you, if you build it in a cave, you can simply just go around not doing this. Um, unless, of course, you want some specified kind of wood all around the area, then you will, of course, need to. But now, on top here, we put on the inside lamps. So if we put down some lamps here and we put down eight lamps and leave the middle hole empty for a normal block and then we take some redstone and we put that all the way around on top of these and we put down another block and we take a piece of redstone there and then we put down a let's have a look Whereas the that is the back of it, so we want it to go this way. So we put down a block there, and a block there, and a block there, and a block there, and then a block, and then we can start making the staircase back down again. There we go. So now we've got this inner circle bit powered going out. Now we just need to make exactly the same as we did downstairs for these up here to get power so I'm just putting down the repeaters first this time just to spice things up a bit so put that down there one down there and then redstone 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 wire that up and I'm actually just going to go around and then just wire it up as it comes along so there go around go around, redstone, redstone keep going all the way around until you've gotten back to where you've started and then this should also be wired and ready and you can then take a block there put redstone, these are now all connected which is good now we just need to connect the top floor with the bottom floor and on the top floor, uh, just so I remember, you need to put a repeater right there. There we go. Right, now how do we easily get these two to be powered together? Um, my logic, the thing that I thought worked best is to put a piece of redstone and then make a torch effect that goes up. That goes up so put a torch there, then we put a torch on there and all this is doing is just powering the red signal, uh, moving the, the redstone signal upwards which is exactly what we want and also the good thing about this is that when you get to the right height you want it actually is powered correctly so that is, oh that was wrong, so that is really nice and it's turned the right way as well, so now we do like that and put that there that is in the off position right now and then one, two up on my shoe now we should have it all wired up so what's going to happen now when we step on the pressure plate is the redstone signal will travel up here go through the redstone here and then power all of these while at the same time going up here and powering the uh, redstone lamps so let's see if we have done this correctly uh oh, did not look like it. Let me just quickly do some some quick looking why this didn't work. Um, if I remove that over here, I think maybe uh, might be me 
just I might just have counted wrongly with it. Let's try that again. And see if there we go, see? Now goes all the way around, plus you have the bookcase at the top and bottom. Now all you need to do is the cosmetics of putting the floor in. So if I just fly up here, put the floor in. Of course you need to put the floor all the way around here. I won't be doing that now because um, this would is the first redstone tutorial I've done. I'm thinking of doing a redstone one-on-one -on -one as well. Uh, hopefully my way of explaining things is understandable. Otherwise then please do tell me because I would... I should really do like to give away my knowledge on these things because I love working with redstone and I would love it if other people would be able to learn from it as well. So if uh, with that, if there's... Uh, any ideas, suggestions, anything you want me to try and build. Um, I have built a counter in on a server which um, I will probably not make a tutorial for because that was very very difficult but um, yeah just come with a suggestion and until next time I hope you all have a pleasant evening, a pleasant night, a good Mm, Hollow's Eve maybe let's say a good christening um, a good Father's Day, Christmas New Year's and St. Gettysburg Address Day so bye